Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we are back with part 2 of the A10 build series. Now in the last episode we managed to get this uh, little frame of the A10 built and we got some jet engines in, we got the Rotary Auto Cannon, so in this episode we're going to be carrying on. Uh, so I'm thinking of doing a little bit of tweaks to the body work that I think you guys recommended. Uh, so we're going to be fixing a couple things, we're also going to be going and adding some pylons on. Hopefully maybe getting the land gear fixed and just doing a whole bunch of other things inside of um, our A10 today. So let's jump straight in the workbench and let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is get symmetry mode on. Now a lot of you guys said that the nose didn't really look like it should. So we're going to make some changes and I'm going to edit the nose to make it look a little better. So um, what I'm thinking is I think the nose is a little bit more flat in comparison to what it I've got it as. So I'm going to just be adjusting this ever so slightly. So I was thinking of maybe doing something like this over there and then taking this and then possibly doing, I mean, something like that and getting rid of that and doing maybe possibly something like that. That's what I was thinking, something to that extent. I mean, I'm not 100% sold on it just yet, but I think it could look good. But or, I mean, we could also go into that, couldn't we? What if we were to do that, that, it's a little bit too much, I think. Okay, let's go back to what I had it, something like that for now. I mean, we could always do that, couldn't we? Okay, uh, I'm procrastinating. That doesn't look too bad, doesn't it? It looks pretty good. The only thing, as I said, the only thing I'm not happy with is this piece here. But I mean, the only other way I could get rid of that would be to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then put this here. And then go into a one by 2 Like so. That's the only other way I could think of getting rid of that little blockiness. And then here is where we run into our next issue. Because then we have... I mean, we could do... What if we were to then just do... That. I mean, that could work, couldn't it? That could definitely work. Uh, so we got, we left that, grabbed this, and went back to something like that. Uh, let's delete that and grab that and do that. And I'm not happy with this piece here, though, in the front. I feel like that's still a little bit too. A little bit too blocky. What if we were to drop that to like a one there, delete this, grab this, delete it, and then stick this guy inside here, like so, and then maybe this like that, grab this, do this, and then grab this one and put it here. Ah. Only problem is now this. So we need to get rid of that. But that interferes with my, that interferes here with the auto cannon. I mean, we could always move the auto cannon further back. And then we don't have to deal with this. Guess so, but that means the auto cannon is going to be like over here, which is starting to interfere with my landing gear. Which is a problem. Uh, actually, I have an idea. I have an idea of how we're going to solve that. So I am going to grab a one or two by four inverse permit. I'm going to put that down because that's what I wanted. Uh, and we're just going to place it down over here. I know that I've deleted my belts. That's fine. Now to fix the belts, I am going to get rid of this battery. I'm going to get rid of this number block. I'm just going to move it actually. So cut it and let's just place it I mean, somewhere inside our somewhere inside of our creation where I will forget about it or maybe on top. Yeah, let's put it there for now and we'll come back to it. And then this and all of these belts, and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to turn it around. So it's kind of flat. And then we're going to go into a corner piece. And then the corner piece is going to go like that. And then we can just bring our belts directly behind you that could work perfectly actually and then we have actually more space to have great activities then you can only thing you can see at the moment is this this which we will probably use some xml edited blocks to cover that up maybe put a hatch over it or something like that 
But I mean, that straight away looks pretty cool. And we could even do, let's imagine we're going to paint this whole thing in a gray color. Uh, then we could do this and this and then grab black. And then we've got a little bit of a face. We'll have to do the, we'll have to do the, um, the teeth later. But look at that. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, that's done. We need to get our drums in, but I mean, I'm not going to worry about the drums just yet. Let's let's worry about everything else first. So I need to make some space in here because see, this is going to be empty at some point. And we're going to get fuel and a few other things inside here too. Uh, I mean, we can also use the wings to hold more fuel. So like these pieces over here, if you were to delete that and that, and you were to delete look underneath yep so then we delete all of that too what you can do is you can replace it with uh wedge pieces like what i'm doing right now and that way you can actually fill this with fluid so it will hold more fuel which is pretty cool we can also maybe put our refueling and things on the wings instead of on the body of the plane itself you can see straight away how we're going to use this all for fuel and then we can even come on top here and do exactly the same thing so that way we get a bunch more fuel. So can you imagine being in here with with, with would be the fuel tank? Uh, this is going to have fuel in it there. This is going to have fuel in it here, which is perfect. I mean, we can even just grab that and put fuel in like this. We might get rid of this these wedges later because we will probably go and do like our gyro and things like that in this space. But I mean, for now, it's perfectly fine. You can always edit this later on. Cool. So that is now completely enclosed and that will have fuel in it. Fantastic. I'm really happy with that. Uh, let's go and just keep on bringing this back because this, once again, will be empty. We don't want to add any extra weight that we don't need. There we go. So that's now completely hollow inside. We could even make this into wedge pieces, this into wedge pieces, and this into wedge pieces. But for now, I'm pretty happy. I do need to fix this, though, which is this front piece. And we just need to bring that back like that and maybe do on that oh. oh yeah that looks so nice i'm happy with that i really am um okay cool let's go and spawn now let's see how that looks like not back heavy still not bad oh man look at that that's looking neat isn't it Alrighty, we can also maybe get like an xml block to maybe cover this piece over here so you can't really see the rotary order cannon that much but i mean for now i'm happy with that all right, um, so next, what do we need to do next? Okay, we need to shorten the wings, definitely. So let's bring it down to like that much. But actually, maybe a little bit less, maybe that much. And then we also need to bring them in a bit. That might be a little bit too short. Yeah, that's probably a little bit too short. Let's go to about there. Yeah, that looks good. And then we do need to shorten them out a bit. So for example, we'll probably get rid of that and that. So we can angle them in a bit and then the same goes to the back i don't know how i'm going to do the back because we do have these wedges but i'll figure it out at some point and how we're going to do this i mean we do need to add the control surfaces so i might actually be able to do it with the control surfaces grab them and stick one in like that and then that's already shortened it and then we can go in here and maybe do another one so you can see how we've shortened it just using the control surfaces which is pretty cool uh, we can also go in here, maybe to replace that, and then go in here and replace that. And then we're just going to go and put like a wedge here. And then for this piece, we can go here, take this off, grab this, rotate it around. But there we go. And then for that piece, we'll grab like a one by two wedge, I think. Grab like, or inverse pyramid, sorry. Okay, grab that, stick it in. Happy days. And I think those wings are going to look much better in comparison to what we had. Yeah. We did disconnect. I think we disconnected the... Oh, I didn't join the... No, I've joined it. Uh, I deleted the battery. That's why it is not moving up and down anymore. I mean, let's just put the battery back on top. Cool. And then they should be angled up now. Which they are. Look at that. I mean, that straight away looks much better, doesn't it? Oh, that is looking very impressive from the front, if I have to say so. Very, very nice. All right. 
Uh, what's next? What's next? So we can start working on... Must be the landing gear. I mean, this landing gear in real life, if I'm correct, will go and fold up into the front. So we're going to make a nice little space for it to fold into uh, over here. And once again, we can possibly get away by using some XML pieces to do that. So at some point, we might replace like this with an XML piece. That way you can bring this up and in. Yeah, let's do that. So uh, to do that, we're going to delete this. We're going to delete this. We're going to grab a pivot. Uh, just a normal robotic pivot, nothing special. Uh, and then you can put it over here like that. Grab these engines or whatever you want to use use here instead put that back on put that down grab your wheels so delete them place them back on and for the wheels i actually sometimes like to just put a high speed i think they look more like aircraft wheels than anything else so that looks good and those are going to go and fold in and they are connected to that pivot and they're going to go and fold into about there plus minus so that's why i've made the, the cutoff over here as i said this cutoff we will replace with some xml pieces or something you could possibly try and get away with doing this i think it's going to collide and the physics is not going to be happy but we can test that and you can test it by just putting like some struts on the plane like so and then we can test it out in a few seconds so let's grab a keypad put a keypad over here to test it and we just need some electricity so into that and into that and then the number from the keypad into the pivot spot in and we can test our landing gear and see if it's going to work so as you said right over here going to like 0.1 that's the wrong direction so you go into negative one there we go let's do negative five and negative one so there we go now it is colliding as you can see it is collided with that now whether or not I'm happy about that, maybe, maybe not. But as I said, we could delete these wedges and put replace it with some XML ones. That way we wouldn't have this issue. But that's the landing gear at the back taken care of. And I'm pretty happy with how that's looking straight away. I don't mind it sticking out a bit. We could even move the uh, actual piece, the landing gear piece over to that side. And that way the wheel would be centered with this whole thing. But um, that's all right for now. All right, uh, cool. So let's go and delete the struts because we don't need the struts anymore. Go, done. And delete that strut, done. Okay, now we need to do the landing gear for the front. Now, this is where we have the issue because obviously I can't put the landing gear here because there is a big gun here. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm guessing the only other place we can stick it is inside here. And okay, that's the only other option we have. So we can put there. Once again, grab a pivot. Uh, let's go and put it. Oh, there it is. And we can stick it in over there. Grab our electric motors. Down, 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 down. Grab. I might even replace this wheel with a smaller one. Uh, if we were to use like the little wheel coaster, that would look better. It probably looks a little better. Than what we had before okay i'm happy with that uh now we just need it to fold backwards so i'm just going to put another strut here for purpose of right now grab a keypad stick another keypad in Oop. and we're going to connect the keypad over to the pivot and electricity over to the pivot and to the keypad small it in and let's go and have a look at that so it should in theory just fold back and there we go so we just need to account for one block going in there, but I'm pretty happy with how that will fold in. This is going to look so good. Alrighty, so great, landing gear taken care of. Nice and easy. And I mean, the only, only thing with landing gear is that it does have a chance to break, especially if you have your physics quality on very low. So if you really want to counter the landing gear and it possibly going backwards. Uh, you can add like magnets or magols and things like that. Uh, you can add door hinges. There's a lot of different ways you can get your landing gear to play ball, shall we say. But as I said, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we can even add some landing gear doors here. So it like kind of opens and closes when we want to do that. At the moment, I'm going to leave it as is. And we will just adjust it possibly later on in the build.
Okay, so I know that plus minus my wheels go about there. Need to account for that. All right, cool. What next do we say? Well, we can add a whole bunch of things. We can obviously have all of the space here for drums and logic, so and also fuel. So we can fit tons of things inside here. Our wings are done. Our landing gear is done. I mean, I would like to do a little bit more painting. I know in real life, obviously, we this should be black. So I'll probably do that black. Good, one more. So, oh, pylons. We can add the pylons on. That could be pretty cool. Let's get some trim on. Uh, let's do the pylons next. I think that will be pretty good. Hard points, and we've got quite a few of them in real life. So we're going to get, I think if I'm correct, there's one here. There is a, another two here. There's another one here. And then you've got one here, one here, and one here. Could be wrong on those numbers. I need to double check. How many exactly we have on this but if i'm correct it's three under the body which is what we got now plus under wing and then three on the sides which equals four plus so that's eight plus the three which is 11. so i think we're right on the number of pylons once again i'm sure someone will comment in the chat you guys will tell me uh if i got it wrong now i'm going to turn them around so i'm going to turn them like that and like that and the same thing goes there and we're going to try and keep it consistent bring it there there and there and then i'm also just going to add on possibly just like some wedges behind it just to make it look a little bit cooler like that and maybe a small wedge in front that's that and that's and there now we could even actually bring that up by one if we wanted to so we can actually make those flush with the with the wings that could be one way of doing it, actually. And we'll see. We might need to get rid of any of these that we're thinking of using for... Any of these that we are thinking of using for actual drop tanks. We will have to get rid of that little piece at the back. Because we're going to put some pipes in. Yeah, we're going to put some enclosed pipes. Uh, so we'll probably put something like that and like that. So those three can possibly be used in the future for drop tanks. Whereas all the other ones are just going to be for either missiles or bombs or things like that. Let's just go and spawn that and I want to see what that's going to look like. It's starting to come together, isn't it? It's looking pretty good. All right, so the next thing that we can focus on is maybe the painting and... I mean, I'm not 100% on the pylons, but... I mean, we can we can always adjust the pylons if we need to, but I think they're, I think they're right. I mean, this one might need to come in one more, I think. But let's, I mean, we can always move it. All right, cool. So that means we've got a little more space there. That means we've got the pylons over there. That is all pretty much set and ready to go now, isn't it? Uh, let's go and smooth this area here at the back. So, I mean, we can delete that, delete that. And then this needs to come, I think, way, way back. So can we go into like that? Delete this all off. Put this guy there. Grab this guy. Put him over there. And then here we can go into like a three. Something like that. And this needs to go. So delete all this. And we'll go into one of those. Yep, that looks much better. Also, I don't think we need to go maybe this much in. I feel like this is enough of a slope here. So I'm actually going to just bring these back to where we had them like there grab that and uh let's place that one over there okay cool so i'm pretty happy with that now i think that looks pretty good okay cool uh once we've got that on we've done that we can do some more painting can't we okay let's uh we've got this all in gray at the moment i would like the undercarriage or the underbelly to have a white that way you obviously if it's flying above you can imagine the sky being all white uh, you won't really see it so i'm probably going to be painting like all this white and then all this white and so on all right so i think i'm pretty much done with the white you can see the only things that are not really in white are these wedges that we have over here and the control surfaces unfortunately there's nothing i can really do about the control surfaces at the moment so i'm just gonna have to leave it as is and then inside the landing gear area we can just paint this like a dark gray I mean, i'm not really too fussed on what we have here in terms of color schemes uh, inside of the landing gear area 
The same thing goes inside this landing area here. We can just paint this all like a dark gray. Once again, not fussed on what color we do that. And um, as I said, this we will cover eventually with a XML edited piece. I guess we can probably do inside here too a dark gray where the cannon is. That looks a little better. We can paint this here white, this white, and this white. This landing gear piece, I guess, could also be white, can't it? Paint that. While I'm here, might as well do it before I forget. Uh, what else do we have? That's pretty much about it in terms of color, I think. I mean, from the white, it's all, from top, it's all gray, and then from the bottom, it's all white. Now let's go see how that's going to look. You can hardly even tell. <laughs> You can hardly even tell there's white underneath there with the grey. And it looks almost identical, doesn't it? That's camouflage. Um, oh, we need to paint this front piece. But I mean, that looks pretty cool. Alright, uh, let's do the cockpit for now. I'm going to just delete this piece for now. And that will give me an idea of where to start working from. And that's pretty much as far as I'm probably going to be end up going. You probably have your and stuff there okay seat uh we need to get the seat in so we're going to cover in this area over there and i mean we can probably go up by one and let's get the seat in now the seat will be about there so let's get a seat i'm wondering if we should do hot sauce seats i mean that looks cool doesn't it there's a lot of stuff on it which kind of makes it obsolete i wish the devs would do a new one of these without the front piece on it and without the bottom piece you know similar to what we have for the normal pilot seat like that and the seat's going to go pretty much right there. Obviously, you can imagine we're going to have our all this. Actually, I might be able to fill this in now. Can I grab some windows? I'm going to have to XML edit this, as I told you guys in the last episode. But uh, for now, we can edit, we can add some of it. Nice. I mean, that's looking pretty damn good, isn't it? I'm pretty happy with that, especially that front section. Yeah, that's looking good so guys um i think we're probably going to end this episode over there i mean we've gotten through quite a lot we've got painting done we've got a new design in the front new design for the cannon we've got shorter wings we've got hard points on here we've got landing gear on here we've done painting we've done quite a bit we've even got the little start start of the cockpit the next thing i wanted to probably do is i'm probably going to start xml editing some windows and things to make sure it fits uh, in there and then hopefully in the next episode we can start getting the window in start designing the actual cockpit and start putting some logic in here in terms of like flight controllers computers uh and all that other kind of good stuff and then yeah we're pretty much there aren't we then we just do some painting some detailing and do some flight testing and pretty much set and ready to go so guys uh we're gonna end over there if you have enjoyed this video smash sure the like button hit the subscribe button if you don't want to see my future content make sure you are subscribed to the channel and until the next one we'll see you then.